It is the American Express halftime report. Big first half for LeBron and Kevin Love. Lead closer than it was, but still five for the Cavs at the break. Over the Wizards, Ty Lue is back, and so are we. It's the Amex halftime report. Stern, Shaq, Zeke, Candace, and a lot of LeBron, who still uh, is looking spry 15 years in. Kevin Love, for anybody who underrated his importance, I think we're now seeing it when he's back. It shouldn't have taken that much. How about 16 points, 5 and 9 from the floor, 4 of 5 from deep. But, Candace, you know, we look at LeBron and we talk about all the great things that he does. He should have more points, should he not? Take us through what you saw in terms of some of the frustrations LeBron dealt with, with maybe not getting to the foul line as much as he deserved. Well, I feel like it's a constant. Um, how do you ref LeBron? I mean, he's 6'9", 250, going to the basket, doesn't make a play on the ball, gets hit in the ribs. A normal player would be out probably two or three quarters with that, maybe for the game. Post move, gets to the basket, obviously makes the basket, but gets fouled across his arm. He shot two free throws this half. I mean, look, LeBron is six foot nine, 250 pounds. Uh, in my era, watching basketball, that's Carl Malone dribbling the ball up the court. So, I, I mean, in the history of basketball, he's top two toughest players to ref, in my opinion. And the other one is sitting at the end of the, the table. I mean, some people say a foul is a foul, but... <laughs> some people say a foul is a foul, but <sighs> it, it's tough ref, ref in LeBron because you would have to call everything to keep him from scoring. Jack? I agree with her, uh, but, you know, a high official in the NBA once told me, he said, yeah, you get fouled every time, but we're not going to call it every time. It'll be a four- or five-hour game. So, uh, How did you deal with that? How did, you, how did you personally take that when they say, yeah, you get fouled, but we're not calling it every time? Well, I took it as a, I took it as a sign of respect. And then my thing is, okay, you're not going to call it, I'm going to make you call it. So sometimes I would get it, sometimes I wouldn't, but... I didn't want to get in the mentality. I'm not getting the calls. I'm not getting the calls. As you know, Isaiah, you just got to play through everything. You got to play through everything. You got to persevere, take it all the way to the end. And then as a player, I know who was playing dirty, and I know who was just really, you know, trying to guard me. So. How did you make them call it when you say I'm going to make you call it? Put your hand up. Oh, boy. Don't tell me. Yeah, that's how uh -oh. it seemed like right here. I had told the rev, I said, next time you don't call a foul, I'm going to knock his head off. But I missed. But I missed. Oh. <laughs> it's, good. it's good that you missed that. But I, I, I thought, Shaq, that. <laughs> I, no, I told him, I said, hey, man. Yeah. That, that's not the I said, hey, man. Next, hey, man. Next, follow me every time. Next, next, next time anybody find me. Watch what I do. Now, I, I complimented you on your temperament. <laughs> back in the I, back yeah, I was saying, Candace, I, I yeah. thought Shaq had a great temperament. He would get fouled hard. How about that? And, and you know, he would just take it. And then we show this clip. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> why why, why we didn't you just you take that one? Yeah. We were giving you props on your composure. Let's look at this again. And up. Oh, good thing. Woo! Way to go, Brad. Yeah, B Mill. We, need, we needed that miss. It, you know, despite what LeBron has dealt with, he still continues. You know, it's, the consistency is amazing. The, the thing he just did, passing Jordan all the double figures, it's not about the points. It's about how often he's on the floor consistently because of how much he prepares his body, and we're seeing it again tonight. Yeah, and, and, and you say we're seeing it again tonight. I mean, he's, he's three assists shy and, you know, five rebounds away from a triple-double already. And we're just in the first half. We talk about his vision. You see the slip cut. He puts it right over defender's right shoulder. And then his speed in the open court, you know, running away from defenders. We also see his ability to play inside, to back down, post up, reverse, kiss it off the glass. And then we're going to see how smart he is. Okay, he's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's going to bait. Now I'm going to hit it to my man Kevin Love for a three. I mean, LeBron James intellectually right now, his basketball IQ is so superior to everyone else that he's playing against. And right now he's playing against the game itself, not necessarily the opponent. And what I mean the game itself, he's coming out every night trying to play the perfect basketball game in terms of making the correct decision, the correct read on every single play. So it's not about the opponent that he's playing against. So he's reached a, step, he's reached a level where he's bored against the average opponent that he's playing against. Now he's elevated to the point where he's playing against the game itself. And that's, that's, that's a high-level thinker right there. With the way he's played, this lead would have been Shaq a lot bigger if not for John Wall, 6-9 from the floor, 16 points. We talked in pregame 
the importance of him kind of taking over now heading into the playoffs, what would you see? Yeah, he's playing the right uh, uh, style of game right now. But when you're a great player and you have players on your team that can play, you got to keep them involved at all times. You know, when you're a great player, you can always get your shot. I thought he did a you know, good job. You know, he has a couple of assists of you know, keeping his guys involved. Because, again, when you're a great player and you're better than everybody else, you can score on your own anytime you want. He's the fastest <clears throat> uh, point guard in the league, and he can definitely do this anytime he wants to do it. But it's very, you know, he must keep his guys involved if they want to get to that second or third round. He can't do it by himself. Well, one thing that's been, uh, there we go, Shaq, can we replace Chuck with Candace Savage, for good? Smarter and a lot better to look at. Yes, she is. Both are very true. Yes. Very, very true. Chuck, I love you. I don't. I hate you, Chuck. Don't come back. <laughs> I'll pay you not to come back, Chuck. Well, we got more on the American Express Halftime Report. Don't go anywhere.